Hello, welcome to another video by Moxon Marine. In this video, I'm uh, going to discuss more about the uh, Marine Ignition Module, the Delco EST, General Motors Delco EST Marine Ignition Module. And in uh, a prior previous video on this module, I stated that uh, the engine cranks with a lower timing. And then when it's run, once it's running, it jumps up to a much higher timing. And um, to set the timing, you use a special tool, which allows you to set the timing without the uh, module kicking in and doing any mod modifying the timing. So um, I'm here to prove that, and uh, I've already done a little bit of playing around here, and I've discovered something, uh, I won't say that's contradicting me, but it's, um, it's close to what I said. So what's happening is when I crank, and I've got, by the way, I've got this engine run out of gas, so I won't crank up, but I can turn it over. And uh, you have to make a spark for your timing light to work. So I've got this time mark, and uh, when I use the set timing tool, it's set just one degree before top dead center, just like the factory spec for 4.3 V6. And with the timing tool installed, the, the, uh, the mark is right here where it's supposed to be. So once I removed the timing tool and ran the motor, it jumped way up there at about 18 degrees before top dead center, which is also where it's supposed to be when it's running. However, I, I wanted to see what it would do when it's cranking. So when it cranks, I stated in the other video that it would, would crank at the one degree before top dead center. I was incorrect. However, it doesn't, it doesn't crank at 18 degrees. It cranks to what looks to me about four or five degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, crank this engine over and I'm gonna shoot it with a timing light and you'll see where it's, uh, where the timing is when it's just cranking. Okay, go ahead. All right. All right. Because of the camera, that's inconclusive, but it was sparking right about here, which is about five or six degrees, probably around five or six degrees before top dead center. It's not zero, but it's not 18. So I was correct that it does uh, spark or, or crank at a much lower timing and then jumps up to uh, about uh, 18 degrees when, once it's idling. So that's uh, so it, the marine modules do have a uh, special uh, curve in it for cranking. That's different from a car or truck module. They don't have that curve. They start, they, when you set the time in a car or truck module, if you set it for one degree before top dead center, that's what it's going to crank at, and that's what it's going to run at up to about 1,500 RPM. You don't, you don't want that for a boat. So, uh, all right, so um, that proves that, uh, well, let me explain a little better. So a car or truck module, in order to get the proper timing, total timing, you would have to have it starting, let's see, I think it advances 13, so 30, or let's say 30 minus 13 is uh, 17. 17. So you'd have to set your initial timing with a car or truck model at 17 degrees, and that's where it would crank at. And so a lot of engines, when they're trying to crank at a higher time like that, they would kick back and fight the starter. So you don't need to use a car or truck module in a marine application. The marine application, the marine module has a special starting, uh, excuse me, cranking curve, then running curve, and a set timing curve. So I just thought um, this uh, kind of, uh, this video will uh, wrap up my, uh, uh, discussions about the marine issue module and why you need to use it in every situation on a, on a marine application. Subscribe to me if you enjoy, subscribe if you enjoy my videos and hit the like button and uh, keep watching my videos.